Aldoflor can be used to detect populations of cells with increased ALDH expression. Increased ALDH has been reported in hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells and many cancer stem cells, including breast cancer. This video will show you how the Aldoflor assay works. The Aldoflor reagent is solubilized in DMSO and then activated by hydrochloric acid to become the fluorescent substrate for the ALDH reaction. The activated Aldoflor reagent substrate diffuses freely into the cell where the ALDH enzyme catalyzes it to form the negatively charged Aldoflor product. As the Aldoflor substrate continues to freely diffuse into the cell, the ALDH enzyme will continually convert it to the negatively charged Aldoflor product. The negatively charged Aldoflor product can no longer diffuse freely out of the cell. It must be pumped out of the cell by the ABC transporter. By including an E-flux inhibitor in the Aldoflor buffer, the fluorescent BAA negative is retained and will build up inside the cell. When performing the Aldoflor assay, you will need to have a negative control tube in addition to the test sample. DEAB is added to the negative control tube. DEAB inhibits ALDH activity, preventing the Aldoflor reagent from being converted to the Aldoflor product. The DEAB control cells will still express a baseline level of fluorescence due to the free diffusion of the activated Aldoflor reagent into the cells. By comparing the fluorescence levels of the ALDH low population in the DEAB negative control sample and the ALDH bright population in the test sample, you will be able to detect your desired cell population. Cells with increased ALDH enzyme expression, such as hematopoietic stem cells, will show increased fluorescence compared to low ALDH expressing cells. For more information about Aldoflor, please contact technical support.